2020 marks the 50th anniversary of EPA and nearly 40 years of the agency's Superfund program. By working together with state, local, tribal, and private stakeholders, EPA successfully cleans up hazardous waste sites, protecting human health and the environment, and providing opportunities to reuse sites. This work is known as Superfund Redevelopment. Region 3 strongly supports Superfund Redevelopment. This video highlights the successful cleanup and reuse of two Superfund sites in the Tidewater area of Virginia. At the Atlantic Wood Industries site in Portsmouth, cleanup and effective partnerships have resulted in removal of creosote-laden sediments from Atlantic Wood Industries and contamination from Navy operations from the southern branch of the Elizabeth River in a way that has preserved and created jobs and new infrastructure for the community. Wood treating operations by Atlantic Wood Industries and Navy use of the site resulted in one of the worst sediment hotspots in the Chesapeake Bay. Several cleanup projects followed in the 1990s and 2000s. They included an award-winning wetland restoration and cleanup of the Elizabeth River. Throughout cleanup, Atlantic Metrocast has produced precast concrete products at the site. The mile-long, 169-foot-high South Norfolk Jordan Bridge was constructed across the site during the cleanup. The bridge owner conducted part of the cleanup and constructed the bridge mostly with precast parts produced at the site by Atlantic Metrocast. A new concrete recycling facility and mixing plant provides jobs. This facility plans to add grain export operations, which will further enhance productiveness of this land formerly impacted by hazardous waste. In Suffolk, Virginia, the former Nansamon Ordnance Depot Superfund site is playing a key role in the local economy and the community's sustainable growth. The Army used the 975-acre area, located at the confluence of the Nansamond and James Rivers, from 1917 to 1960 to manage and dispose of munitions. In the 1980s, explosive TNT was found. Erosion exposed munition disposal pits and munitions along the shoreline. To date, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, in partnership with EPA and the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality, have investigated hundreds of acres and removed 6,200 munitions and 200,000 pounds of munitions debris to prepare the site for safe, beneficial reuse. Today, the site supports a variety of uses by more than 100 landowners. For example, the Hampton Road Sanitation District Wastewater Treatment Plant an award-winning SWIFT facility operate on site. The City of Suffolk's Economic Development Authority is redeveloping 55 acres for mixed residential and commercial reuse. Tidewater Community College's Real Estate Foundation is redeveloping 300 acres. The project combines business, residential, and green space areas with waterfront views. These are just two of the Superfund redevelopment successes in EPA's Mid-Atlantic region. Nationwide, almost 1,000 Superfund sites support new and ongoing uses. EPA is honored to be part of this legacy and proud of the progress that we and our partners have made. We look forward to new opportunities to support Superfund redevelopment as a vital part of our mission to advance excellence in public health and environmental protection, returning land to beneficial use for all Americans.